parts. Conus arteriosus, ventral aorta. Off of the ventral aorta, we have the afferent brachial arteries. And flip to the roof of the mouth. And you have your efferent brachial arteries coming from the gills and your paired dorsal aorta. What is it, pericardial? Pericardial. And then coronary is? Coronary areas are on the heart, and then it runs up along with the ventral aorta. Paired dorsal aorta, you have your internal carotids, which go down into your hyoidean arteries. Paired dorsal aorta, internal carotid, hyoidean. Okay. So we have efferent coming into the dorsal aorta, and then off of the dorsal aorta, we have the subclavian branching. Subclavian. And then where's the down? And then also off of the dorsal aorta, we have the celiac. <laughs> Subclavian artery coming down branches into the lateral and the brachial. And then around here behind the gills is the ventral lateral. And running along the efferents is the pharyngeal esophageal artery. Okay. Anterior epigastric running along the ventral side of the body wall. Here's a big celiac artery. It comes into this meeting place. Celiac artery coming in the bottom. Hepatic artery coming from the liver. It meets at this little center connective, which is the gastrohepatic artery. And from there, it goes to the stomach as the gastric artery, and to the pancreas as the pan pancreaticomesenteric artery. So now. This is the anterior intestinal artery on the valvular intestine. Yep, it branches, comes around. So the first branch we get down here is the anterior mesenteric artery. This is off the dorsal aorta. Off the dorsal aorta, anterior mesenteric artery, which runs to the valvular intestine. The next branch is the gastrosplenic artery, which runs from the dorsal aorta to the spleen. And then the Posterior mesenteric artery is runs from the rectal gland to the aorta. Attachment on the rectal. And then the branch that comes up this way? Right there. No, 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 no. Oh, Follow the red one. There you go. There so you go. what's that right there? That's your posterior epigastric then. Posterior epigastric and iliacs to the left of that? Right? That's the iliac. That's the iliac. Iliac right there. Yep. Okay. Right in there. It's your posterior. Posterior epigastric. And then the caudal is... Okay. So when the fish is on its belly... The ventral side. The yeah. ventral side. It's the bottom one. It's the caudal artery. This is the gastric vein. All right, on the valvular intestine, we have the anterior um, intestinal vein, the anterior intestinal vein. And then connected to the spleen is the posterior vein, posterior intestinal vein. We have the hepatic portal vein coming down from the liver in the yellow here, and it branches off to form the pancreatical mesenteric vein, which you can see running right here, and it runs through your pancreas. If you can see that, the yellow vein right there. Just put, because that's the stapedial right there. Common carotids are coming from the carotid. Stapedial up there. Oh, what's, what's the lenogastric? <laughs> that's that's an anterior, anterior, and then posterior like comes from right. here, and then connects with the posterior <coughs> intestinal vein. Where's the anterior intestinal vein? That's on the that's, that's on the That's on the top. Just the yellow one right running there. right there. Okay. And then those two meet and then this is the um linomesenteric <laughs> vein. It's right. hepatic portal, right? Mm -hmm. And then hepatic portal. pancreatic mm -hmm. mesenteric. Mm -hmm. Um gastric is Coming the across gastric. there, okay, mm -hmm. and then behind you here is your lenomesenteric coming up. Okay, yes. so you've got three things that come together: lenomesenteric from here, pancreatic mesenteric here, 
gastric here, and to, all three of them together form the hepatic portal. Okay. Linogastric on the bottom side of the pancreas. Linogastric. And then on. Hold on. Linomesenteric on the bottom of the pancreas. And here's the anterior linogastric. And posterior linogastric runs along here and connects here. It's hard to see it. Okay. This is a posterior. This word during the hepatic portal. Oh, just up here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so posterior intestinal. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the posterior lino, is the linogastric mm -hmm. right here, right? So posterior linogastric. And it goes up and around to the anterior linogastric. Here. Mm -hmm. so posterior linogastric, anterior linogastric. Which two come together to. What is, this one comes together with that one to make what? The lineal oh, lineal mesenteric. Lineal mesenteric. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then okay. go up to your anterior one again. So now you've got your anterior linogastric, right? And that combines with <coughs> your anterior intestinal. Anterior intestinal. Right. That one there. Okay. Okay. And together they make up the. This one, the yellow one there. Oh, pancreatic. Oh, yep. And then those combine with the. <coughs> are those? Gastric. 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 To make up the. Hepatic portal. Yep. So kind of. We should probably ask her that. <laughs> I think that is <coughs> the artery. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then these are lateral abdominal. Yep. Yes. Where's the iliac vein? Uh, you may or may not be able to see it. It's running mm -hmm. along with the artery there. Mm. That's a cardinal vein. Yeah. Sinus venosus. Then what else? What is cardinal it? sinus. What do you have Where's over cardinal there? Cardinal sinus. Do we need to know that even? Posterior. Yeah, we need to know Sin posterior cardinal sinus. Yeah, posterior cardinal sinus. Yeah, James, something right here. Which kind of makes sense? This big sinusy thing. Okay. <laughs> right off the other side. Lateral abdominal. You didn't call them anything in the video. Do you want, yeah, we didn't do it in the video. Do artery? Oh yeah. Do what? 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 Do